Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video to my channel, Apex. So, guys, here to in this video, I'm going to show you how to get zero input in into the Fortnite Chapter Two Season Four. So, guys, after the last update of the Fortnite, the size of the Fortnite is reduced, and now it is 30 GB. Now the Fortnite is really optimized and a lot of people have fixed out their FPS drop and stutters problem into the Fortnite but guys they are still getting the input delay into the Fortnite. So here into this video I am going to show you how to fix out and guys reduce your input delay. So guys without wasting any time let's go straight into this video. So guys here into the first step we are going to do some settings for a Fortnite. So guys let's go into the settings of the Fortnite. Just click here on the three lines and go into the Fortnite. So guys this video is only for the PC users. So guys you need to just follow out every step really carefully. So guys first of all just make sure to set out your windows mode onto the full screen and select out your resolution which you are playing. But in my opinion I will suggest you which is the best resolution and reduce the input delay that is the 1600 by the 900. If you need a video how can you get this custom resolution so just guys comment me down there if you don't have in your native one. So guys next here is the frame limits and set it from the 120 fps to 165 or the so on like 240 fps to reducing the input delay but if you just reduce it onto the 60 fps so guys it will give you a big input delay in your shorts so just make sure to set it onto the 120 140 fps or 160 fps but i am using it onto the 160 fps because my gpu is compatible for this next here is some graphic settings this is on your preference so just simply scroll down it and here is the most important setting which is the graphic quality settings here is the 3d resolutions if you have a low end pc so just set it onto the 75 percent and but if you have a good pc so just set it onto the 100 percent if you are just getting the input delay so just set it onto the 100 percent next here is the view distance so you can set it between the medium to the epic but i will suggest you to go with the epic because it is not do any type of load on the gpu and reduce the fps next here is the shadow so just turn it off and leasing so just also turn it off and here is the most important setting which is the texture settings so guys make sure to set it onto the medium to the high so it is also depend on your pc you can also set it onto the high i also prefer it onto the high because guys when the load on the gpu is increased so input delay in your game will be reduced so this is the basic of the input delay reducing trick so next here is the texture setting turn it off here is the post processing i should turn it off Next here is the most important setting which is the advanced graphic settings. First setting is the V-Sync so just turn it off. Motion blur it is again on your preference. Here is show FPS just turn it on because I want to see my FPS into the game on different positions. Next here is the DirectX version. Guys if you have a next gen or the new gen GPU so just use the DirectX 12 beta version. But if you have the old GPU so just go with the DirectX version 11. Next here the allow multi thread rendering. It is also the most important factor. It will depend on your CPU. If you have the more than 4 core or 4 thread processor, so just turn it on, otherwise just turn it off. For checking out the threads of your processor, I just show you into the next into this video. So guys stick with this video till the end. So next here the GPU debugging, just turn it off. Here is the latency marker, turn it off and here is again the most important settings of this video, which is the NVIDIA reflex low latency. If you are onto the AMD user, so guys, you can just leave out the settings because I will show you next into this video for the AMD. For the NVIDIA user, you need to just simply select the on plus boost setting from here. Here, the latency flash also turn it off. Just after doing the setting, go into the settings tab. Here is the guys replay sections, so also turn off all of the replays from here. Now apply the settings. So guys, just after applying out the settings, minimize your game and just do some settings for your windows. So guys now here I am on my windows screen so just first of all we are going to check out our CPU threads. For just checking out it you need to just simply right click here onto the taskbar, go for the task manager, go for the performance sections and here is the CPU. Just click onto the CPU button and you will see here the logical processor which is actually your threads. So I have 4 core and the 8 thread processor which is the i7-3770. If you want to know about your thread so you can also comment down onto this video and like this video. So guys simply just after checking out your threads now you can select out the allow multi thread on or off according to you so just turn off the settings now go for the third party software which will guys really help out you to reducing your input delay so for this you need just go onto the google chrome i will also give you the link of this software into the description of this video or you can also download it directly from the internet so guys just open up the chrome and just type here islc download just select out it here is the first link go into this one
Now from here you need to just find out the download button and download the software. Here is the official download. Just click here on the official download here. Click on the start download and please just simply download the software on your PC. Just after downloading it, open up this folder. Just install out the ISLC. I have already installed it so I just open it from my PC. So I just go on to search and just type here ISLC. Here is this folder so just open up this one. And here is the intelligent standby list cleaner. So just right click here and make sure to run this L administrator. Just click on the run this L administrator. And here is the screen of the intelligent standby list cleaner. And here is the most important setting which you need to just simply apply here. So here into this box which is the free memory is lower than you need to just simply type here this value which is the 16. 333 MBs and now just click here on to the enable custom timer resolution and just type here 0 0.50 and just enable out its options now click here on the start button minimize the software and guys now enjoy out your game so guys just i hope so after doing this setting you will get the best response time into the game and your experience of the game is now next level so guys make sure subscribe to my channel if you are new here also like this video so till at the next video allah hafiz and bye bye